explore the future at Ars Electronica Museum in Linz, Austria. Rediscover the synergy of artificial intelligence and music. Demystify artificial intelligence for yourself. Witness 8K visual worlds. Delve into neurobionics. Engage in machine learning and realize more about climate change problems. From kids' labs to educational programs, the museum puts forward a dynamic vision of tomorrow. The first message I saw when I entered Ars Electronica was work in and on the future. And now let's go discover exhibitions. This piano, equipped with artificial intelligence, independently creates compositions and performs them. In the museum, you can participate in various workshops on creating musical compositions using technology. Now I am listening to a composition, all the sounds of which are entirely created by robots. And here on the screen, right here, is the process of creating these compositions. Let's move on. This hall is a demystification of how artificial intelligence functions. What is artificial intelligence? What do we really know about human intelligence? How intelligent can artificial intelligence be? How do machine sensors perceive the world? How does facial recognition work? And, most importantly, how will all of this affect our society? Here, how facial recognition works, sensory perceptions and how machines learn them, the exhibition Understanding Artificial Intelligence combines important technical aspects of artificial intelligence with real examples of their applications. We know that our methods of energy production and consumption play a crucial role in climate change. The exhibition There is no Planet B not only illustrates the urgency of the situation, but also presents solutions. In this hall, various interactive maps most of them in real time, showcase contemporary vulnerable natural areas. The movement and melting of glaciers, earthquakes, tsunamis, the 50 largest ports in the world, and the movement of trade vessels. All what is directly related to ecology. Life support system. This experiment involves one square meter of wheat grown in a closed environment. Essential supplies like water, light, heat and nutrients are measured, their costs calculated, and we can see this information. So, we can roughly estimate the cost of the operation of the biosphere if we had to pay for it. The next exhibition is a museum of edible soil with samples of around 400 types of soil, people's soil in many cultures around the world. More than 3 billion people fill up access to electricity, and around 6 billion consume it from non-renewable sources. Here we can see Solar Villa. It's a prototype of a small settlement powered by solar energy generated independently. And here is the Children's Research Laboratory. An augmented reality sandbox, an animaker, children's books and other adventures for kids. Deep Space 8K is an awesome interactive space with laser projectors and powerful graphics, where many interesting lectures and events take place. Ars Electronica regularly introduces lots of new exhibitions and events, so I suggest you visit their official website and check what's happening right now. Ars Electronica is not just a museum of the future, but also a hub for the interaction of society with art and artificial intelligence. They also organize one of the world's most influential festivals on this subject and award an annual prize in the field of digital art. This is how our electronic appears at night from the opposite bank of the Danube River. The building transforms its visual patterns and serves as a huge screen itself. If you are in Austria, 
is definitely worth dedicating at least one, two days to demystify artificial intelligence a bit and experience the future in the museum of the future. I'm Alicia Posotska and I explore the most interesting modern museums in Europe. Subscribe to my channel. If you visit the museums I make videos about, I promise you won't be bored.